Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best budget laptops. Starting at number 5 Acer Chromebook Spin 311. A Serieuro trademark S Spin 311 is exactly what many people expect of a Chromebook small, inexpensive, and capable enough to handle work and light play every day. The keyboard is excellent for a Chromebook of this size and price. The battery life is solid, too, and although performance is a Euro trademark T great, Ada Euro trademark S enough to handle light, day-to-day -day tasks. For students, children, or anyone looking for an extremely portable machine that gets the essentials right, the Spin 311 is one of the best Chromebooks for kids. That can also compete with some of the best Chromebooks of comparable price. Coming at number 4. Lenovo Chromebook Duet. If you're looking for a good budget laptop and don't mind the idea of a hybrid tablet slash Chromebook, the Lenovo Chromebook Duet could be for you. Currently on sale for $189, you can get both the tablet and the detachable keyboard, rather than needing to pay for them separately as is the case with the Microsoft Surface Go A Euro. Though that hybrid Windows 10 machine does offer a more premium experience. The Duet isn't as powerful as its larger sibling the Duet 3, but it's enough for most of what you can do on a Chromebook these days. Plus, the low spec means it won a Euro trademark teeth chew through battery power. It also has an impressively sharp and bright 1920 by 1080 display that works just as well for binge watching YouTube as it does for zipping through emails and browsing the web. At number 3. Microsoft Surface Go 2. The Microsoft Surface Go 2 is a remarkably capable Windows 10 tablet that does double duty as a budget laptop replacement. On its own it's a solid Windows tablet, with enough power for basic browsing and battery life that won't leave you always hunting for a charger. But the tablet really comes into its own when the optional type cover accessory is added into the mix. That takes the entry-level $299 Surface Go 2 up to $359, but in the process turns it into a dinky laptop Theta Euro, trademark S, surprisingly capable. But to keep things below $500, you have to put up with an Intel Pentium Gold processor, only 4GB of RAM and 64GB of eMMC storage. Theta Euro trademark S hardly a mighty set of specs, but it should be enough for people who want a two-in, one device for reasonably lightweight productivity tasks a euro, think web browsing, word processing, and firing out a healthy batch of emails. Number 2 of my list. Lenovo Duet 3. The list of great budget laptops is dominated by Chrome devices, and the Lenovo Duet 3 is the best Chrome tablet that can be yours for as low as $359. This is effectively a bigger, more expensive follow-up to the Chromebook Duet Lenovo released in 2020, a surprisingly capable and inexpensive Chrome tablet that's still on this list. We loved the original Duet for its great battery life, solid performance and decent packed-in keyboard cover, all of which could be had for roughly $250. Lenovo's new 11-inch Duet 3 costs a bit more, but it also delivers a bigger, brighter display, more ports, and the added power of a beefier Qualcomm Snapdragon 7C Gen 2 chip. It's one of the best Chrome tablets you can buy, and the fact that Lenovo includes the keyboard cover at no extra cost helps it double as a surprisingly effective 2-in-1 Chromebook. And number 1. Samsung Galaxy Chromebook 2 The Samsung Galaxy Chromebook 2 is a budget laptop that doesn't feel like one, with a slick ultra-portable design, a sharp-looking QLED touchscreen, and solid 8-hour battery life. It's also going to sound great, plus its Core i3 configuration provides a ton of speed for Chrome OS. We weren't as happy with the vertical travel in its keyboard, which is a bit shallow. This creates a slight learning curve you'll adapt to over time. But to get a Chromebook that looks this good and feels this premium for under $500 is a great deal. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations.
Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.